We're going to turn now to an update on the work to locate and identify victims of Maui's wildfires. Officials are now saying that more than 1,000 people, that's an increase, are still unaccounted for. We're now more than two weeks after the fire. Lily Luciano has more now on the effort to name each and every one of the victims. We need family members to come forward and donate their samples. Emergency leaders are pleading for more DNA samples from the relatives of people still unaccounted for to identify remains they found in the rubble of Lahaina. The number of family members who are coming in to provide DNA samples is um, a lot lower than they've seen in other disasters. That's our concern. <laughs> Up to 1,100 people remain unaccounted for, but DNA samples have only been collected from 104 families, limiting the identification process. Jason Musgrove flew from Texas to Maui to look for his missing mom, Linda Vikali, and to give a DNA sample. It's hard to get answers because nobody really knows what's happening. Until someone tells me exactly where she's at, I'm not going to stop looking for her. Residents are also demanding answers on the breakdown in communication. As people were trying to escape the deadly fire on August 8th, Maui County Mayor Richard Bisson appeared live on the local station KITV, seemingly unaware of the severity of the crisis. I'm happy to report that the road is open to and from Lahaina. On Tuesday, CBS News' Jonathan Vigliotti asked him about that moment. I wonder if you were getting real-time updates. It appeared that you were not. If not, why was that? We had lots of information coming in. We had lots of uh, communication that was broken down. Do you think a lag in communication, it sounds like, with MEMA could have contributed or amplified the loss that we're seeing? That would be a guess on my part. I can't tell you what would have or would not have changed uh, with that information in terms of the fire. I'm going to leave that to the fire exit to determine what would have changed uh, the outcome of this. The death toll at this hour remains at 115. And according to FBI officials, part of the reason why the number of people unaccounted for is still so high at 1,100 is because there are various lists that they're working to narrow down to one. How they're identifying victims includes not just DNA, but also the accounts from survivors, witnesses, and cell phone technology to pinpoint people's whereabouts. Nate. Lilia, thank you.